Today I'm going to show you how I mix um, all of my paints um, in a jar in readiness for my impressionistic style of painting. Um, I usually start with a clean um, small jam jar but any glass jar is perfectly okay with a screw top lid. Um, so I, I just tip the powder colour into the jar um, and usually I use files of colour so I will put two whole files of powder paint into a jar. Um, obviously normally you do need to reserve some powder colour because you may want to use that particular colour for something else um, for example pen work and, and you need to keep some powder colour in reserve. Um, so that's sufficient. And then I use um, baby oil um, and I tip the baby oil into the jar. Um, and less is better to start with because you can always add more if you don't think it's um, uh, you know thin enough. But you do want this colour to stand up and be fairly stiff on your tile. You do not want it too oily. So I'm going to show you um, how it should look in the jar. Now I'm experienced at mixing this paint and so I almost have a feel for how much um, oil should go in with the paint. But when you start to do this method, um, it's best to add it a drop at a time, you know, a few drops at a time until you feel you've got it to the right um, consistency. Because <clears throat> what I then do is mature it for 24 hours and during that time the oil will seep into the powder paint and get rid of any residue of powder that there may be. I mean this saves all the hard grinding on a tile that makes your wrist ache. And I have never, I've been doing it for a long, long time, I've never had problems with painting with the paint mixed in this way. Um, so mature it then for 24 hours and then <clears throat> I always um, put my paints out on a tile, um, you know, in, with the colours that I'm going to use for that specific um, paint project. And um, that's how I mix them. <coughs> 